practice and I'm here in what's going to be the utility room of the house and I'm next to the electrical box. I know that I've mentioned a lot of issues with contractors going so uh, so far, but the electrician, I think he's probably going to take the award for worst contractor on this uh, project so far. When he first arrived here, he didn't bring the right amount of conduit to run the underground line. Uh, he kind of sort of passive aggressively he suggested that I had stolen it. Then he realized that he just never brought a bunch of it. And he told me that I told him the wrong entry point for the uh, for where the electrical was gonna come into the house, which I totally didn't. It's labeled right on the wall, it's in pencil, uh, written right on the wall, electrical conduits right here. Uh, he uh, then proceeded to install the box. And as soon as he finished, he told me that the box is not in an okay place. It's supposed to be three feet from the water line. Water line's down here in blue. Instead of 36 inches, which would be thir uh, three feet, it's less than 34 inches. Um, so that was the first thing he announced to me when he finished the job is that he had done it improperly and that this was in risk of not passing the inspection. I, I asked him if like maybe we should put it in in a way that you know it could go in properly and there wouldn't be an inspection issue and his or you know and why did we choose to do it wrong in the first place well first he said I told him that the well line was this as opposed to this coming in here um, which I, I no I didn't but on top of that right next to this is written I don't know if you can see it uh, with the resolution camera but right here in pretty big letters well line pointing right to that uh, and then he said, but it was a foregone conclusion that he couldn't have put the box up any higher because uh, you can't have the shutoff higher than six feet off of the floor. Uh, and the floor line is written right next to there on the ground there. And the floor line is right here. And here is six feet up here. So he put the shutoff about a foot lower than he needed to. So everything about this guy is pretty awful. Um, his recommendation to me, his professional recommendation, was to cross my fingers and hope that the electrical inspector didn't notice it. Uh, you know, I, I'm not a big fan of that, uh, just in, <laughs> it's, uh, I, I know, I, you'd think that that sounds like a really appealing option. Uh, so, uh, my dad and I are planning on moving this whole thing. In fact, even the piece of plywood he put up, I asked him to make it, uh, maybe just about a foot bigger than the panel on either side, and he just threw it up as it was. I think he just wanted to easily cut the thing in half, and he didn't want to bother cutting it again. Also, the bottom cut is really ratty. It's just a terrible job all around. So, uh, we're going to be moving it. Fortunately, there's enough extra um, uh, play here. Oh, he also told me there were no more ports in here uh, to uh, to bring the wires through, but there's one right there. It's in the per absolute perfect spot. <laughs> terrible contractor. The reason I bring him up and the reason that I'm, I'm like, you know, going over and over about how awful he is, is that if you do something like this yourself, a lot of your contractors are going to be truly terrible. In fact, except for the concrete people, there has not been a single job done by any of the contractors that I haven't had to redo some of it myself as a layperson. Uh, so, you know, if you're jumping into this thing, kind of thing, anticipate that. I mean, it, it, contractor problems go more than just not showing up. It's also... Sometimes they show up and they do a terrible job. So if you have that in, in, in your mindset, it's not gonna like hit you in the gut about like, oh, why am I so lucky? Why is all this happening to me? It happens to everyone. I've done several projects like this. The contractors are almost always really terrible and it's the lucky one. It's the kind of that lucky moment when you get somebody that's competent and does their job at least as well as you can as a lay person that doesn't know anything. So we've got to do a little bit of work here. Fortunately, uh, we can shut this off down back at the, um, uh, at the meter and everything to make it safe. So we're gonna be able to do it, but it's like, you know, it's gonna be an hour plus to take care of the whole thing. So we're doing a little bit of that today, uh, finishing up uh, the ceiling rafters today, and we have rain coming tomorrow afternoon. So I'm hoping if we can get the rest of the ceiling rafters up, I'll be able to get some boards on there, get a tarp on, and at least get this section of the house with the electricity, hopefully that it doesn't turn into a rainforest in here again. That's it, thanks for watching.